how to make a digital download website using WordPress. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can make a downloadable content for your WordPress website. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. Now, the first thing that you're going to need is a hosting and a domain, right? So you can choose any hosting plans out there, like any hosting providing services like Bluehost or Hostinger. Uh, but for me, I use Namecheap because you know it's very cheap as the name says yes uh, i found it to be very very cheap so over here what you're going to do is just come over here onto hosting and you will see wordpress hosting simply click over here and it's going to take you over here where you can see the pricing and plans and it's going to give you the easy wp wordpress hosting which is very good and over here if you choose this you will get one month free no commitment right like you can choose the supersonic plan without having to pay anything and it's going to be 54 dollars per month but if you go with monthly like that's going to be 13.88 dollars per month and the first month is going to be free but if you go with the yearly plan it's going to be 54 dollars all right you can save up to 50 percent that is the whole price so keep that in mind so i've already bought this so let me just show you how it looks like once you have acquired yourself a wp wordpress so over here as you can see we already have a website but for this one, we're going to go with a new website, right? We're going to create a fresh one so that we can know how it looks like. So over here, they're basically going to ask you the name of the website. I'm just going to call it test website. And then we'll just simply click on continue. All right. So as you can see, this is how it looks like. Now let's go back to the dashboard, right? Like this is the website. Let's go back to the dashboard now. So in order to actually create a website, you're going to need a couple of things. So first, we're going to go ahead and get into the plugin section and install a few plugins. We're going to click on plugins. So over here, as you can see, at first you will have these two plugins, but I've already deactivated them. You can go ahead and click on this button over here and select bulk action and click on activate to activate the plugins, right? But uh, let's go ahead and add some new plugins as well. So over here, once you click on add new plugins, you're going to arrive over here onto the plugin store where you can find all of your plugins. So these are some of the featured ones, right? Like these are the featured plugins that most people use, the classic editor, the Gutenberg plugin, you know, it's pretty amazing. Then you have the popular ones over here. You click on the popular ones. You can see you have all the popular uh, plugins that you would need. And this is a plugin that we need, Elementor Website Builder. So we're going to click on here and install that. We also need the WooCommerce plugin as well. So we're going to click on install that. And we also need a Astra template. So we're going to search for Astra. As you can see, we already have that search. We're going to search for here. And we have the starter templates over here. We're going to also install those templates as well. And once these plugins have been installed, we are good to go. Then we can go ahead and activate them and we can move on with the video all right so as you can see now the plugins have all been installed now all that's left for us to do is to activate them so i'm going to click over here click on bulk and then just choose activate and click on apply now we're going to go ahead and apply this action to all of the plugins and all the plugins are going to be activated and we are done so as you can see all the plugins have now been activated and we are good to go now first things first what we need to do is we need to set up our website and we need to, you know, put our content on it. But since we have installed WooCommerce, that's what we're going to do. So over here, we have WooCommerce. Now what we're going to do over here is we're going to go ahead and create ourselves a product. Now, in order to actually create a website, we already have the template section, right? We have already got the templates. We already got the editor. So let's go ahead and do that. So over here, you will see templates. And over here, you can go ahead and click on here, the kit library. This is going to show you all the templates for elementor but we also want to click over here and click on themes first we have to apply the themes right so currently this is the theme that has been applied all right this is a, like uh wordpress own theme but we will want the astra theme right here what we'll do is we'll click on activate all right to activate that theme and we're going to apply that theme now that the astra theme has been applied now we're going to come over here onto the left side and underneath appearance you're going to see starter templates we're going to click on starter templates and it's going to show you how you can build your site so just simply click on build your site and then choose a block editor or elementor or beaver builder we have elementor so we're going to choose elementor and over here these are all the themes that are compatible with elementor now a lot of these themes are pre-booked right now a lot of these themes are 
uh, premium, but there are some that are free, so we can use them as well. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and we're going to search for a website, right? We're going to come over here underneath business and we're going to search for a website, like a retail website, real estate, local business over here. We got some, all right, underneath e-commerce, we're going to go for, for like a clothing store. All right, so we have a bunch of different themes over here, as you can see. So we're going to just go ahead and select any of these and we should be good to go, right? So over here, we have this one. We can go with this one. Let's go ahead and select that one and we're just simply going to upload our logo over here and then we are good to go instead of dnk it can be your own logo but for now we're just going to go ahead and edit this website out and then it's just simply going to build our website so now we're just simply going to wait for it to do its thing and i'll catch you guys in a second all right so as you can see our website has now been created it took 3.7 minutes and now we can go ahead and view our website so as you can see, this is how it looks like. So we can go ahead and edit this out to our own liking and we should be good to go. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to go back to the dashboard over here. Now, in order to create and sell our own uh, products online, we needed WooCommerce, right? And we already have that. So what we're going to do over here is we're going to go ahead and connect our WooCommerce platform to our website. We're going to click on WooCommerce. It's going to open up over here and over here as you can see we just have to enter in some store details so then we have the industry the product type and business detail and themes right so pretty simple i'm going to fill out this form address line city postal code and all of that and i'll catch you guys in a second all right in industry we have fashion apparel accessories we're going to choose that and then we'll just simply click on continue then we have product type we have physical products downloadable since this is a downloadable product we're going to choose downloadable and click on continue and then we have the business details over here how many products do you plan to display uh i don't have any products yet currently selling somewhere else no i'm setting up a storefront for my client now i'll simply click on continue and then we have this add recommended features to our site so that it's you know much more better uh, we're going to uncheck this box and click on continue. And now we have the theme. So we have the Astra theme already applied that. And then we have the storefront theme, which is going to, to be what our storefront theme looks like. So let's just say that we have a book, right? We're selling our book. And for that, we want a theme. So over here, we have free themes. We're going to click on free themes. And we have all these different free themes that we can choose from. So for now, I think storefront is good. So we're going to choose that and then we should be good to go. All right. The theme has now been applied and this should be good to go. All right. So now we have our options over here. So as you can see now, if I hover my mouse over onto the website name, we have visit site and then we have visit store. So we can go ahead and view our store and website as well. So this is going to be the store. As you can see, it has all of the demo products that we have added currently. Then we have the website itself. So yeah, I'm actually going to switch back to Astra because of the website that we have over here. It's a little bit different. So that's why I'm choosing Astra. I'll just reload these and see how they look. All right. So as you can see, now it looks much better, right? Now it works. So as you can see, we have our products right here. And our storefront, it look, this is how it looks like. So we can go ahead and edit this out as well. Now we need to add like products within our store, right? So I'll come over here onto the left side. You will see you have the option of products. Hover your mouse over on products and you will see all products over here. Click on all products. All right, so as you can see, we all have all these products over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and delete these products, move them to the trash bin. And we're going to create a new product. Oh, there's a lot of products. All right. So now we have no products. Let's go ahead and click on add new. And over here, we can go ahead and add the product name. So let's say this is a get rich quick type of book right over here. And then over here, we can add like a description of it. Like have you, all right. And we can also add like a media as well. So first, let me go ahead and scroll down and select the product image. All right, here we go. I'm going to select the files and I'm going to upload them over here. I'm going to say this is the book. Once it's uploaded, we are good to go. Here we go. Yeah. We're going to click on save changes. Let me just close that. 
Uh, it didn't work. All right, here we go. This is the image. We're going to click on select image. There we go. We have our image over here. We have our title over here. And then we're going to add like a small paragraph of this product. All right, there you go. So something like this I've written there. Like if you've ever wondered how to get rich, but you didn't know how to look no further than this book because it has all the secrets that you'll need because it has all the secrets that all the wealthy people use to get rich yeah something like that and then down below we've already set the image then uh over here we can set you know product so it's a variable product external affiliate product simple product we'll go with that so it's a downloadable product and it's a virtual product no it's not a virtual product We'll just say it's a downloadable product and over here you can set the price so we'll just see let's say thirty dollars and we can add the file over here we'll just simply click over here add the file again add the file name over here copy it from there paste it here and then just choose the file this is the book let's say that is it or we can go ahead and upload our own one as well so over here let me see if i already have one let's say this document is let's say this document that i just uploaded uh, is the file right let's just simply click on insert there we go then down below we can add like bullet points on why you should buy this and stuff like that but once you've done that just simply click on publish and you should be good to go then whenever someone wants to buy this product they'll just simply come over to your website and buy it by downloading it so over here as you can see in stock we are good to go over here let me just reload the page this is the book click over here we click on add to card and we can go ahead and buy it over here so pretty simple that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye